It's been a violent 24 hours in Oakland as the city investigates three deadly shootings overnight, bringing the total number to four in just the first week of the new year. The most recent was this morning around 745 on Plymouth Street, where police found one person shot and killed. Not far away, a woman was killed on San Leandro Street about 540 last night, and the third was a store clerk on Linden Street, just a block away from McClyman's High School. That's where Da Lin is for us tonight, talking to his friends and family and neighbors about the census loss. Da? Friends and neighbors have been coming by this corner market to light candles, drop off flowers, and pray for the victim's family. They say the man was a fixture and beloved in this community. The family identified the murder victim as 46-year-old Majed Alazani. The robbery happened on Saturday night just after 8 o'clock inside Orlando's market. The family tells me his brother owns the corner store and Majed had worked there for years. I want them to remember him as a hard-working man from the Middle East trying to live the American dream and he was just doing to provide for his family. Family friend Bazuri Hassan says Majed came from Yemen. His wife and four kids live near the store. Unbelievable because the family, the kids, everybody have to suffer. Bazuri says he learned from the family the robbers were a couple of young people. It's unclear why they shot Majed during the robbery and how much they got away. A neighbor's door camera recorded one gunshot. Police say family members did not wait for the ambulance and drove Majed to the hospital themselves. He died a short time later. They've had ATMs yanked out of it to the point where they weren't dealing with ATMs for a while. Um, there have been several incidents in the past of people trying to come in here and rob the store. Travis Charles lives across the street from the market and has known Majed for almost 12 years. He says Majed was a generous man and sold him a car last March, even though he didn't have enough money. He needed a car to get to work. I gave him 1500 as a down payment and every time I got paid, I gave him a thousand here, 500 here. He never, he never rushed me, never, uh, bugged me. Many neighbors and longtime customers are heartbroken. They say Majed was a kind man. I've seen his family grow up and his kids are, he has a beautiful family and I just feel awful for him. Missouri is angry over the loss of a friend. He's fed up and wants the mayor to declare a state of emergency. Get some National Guard out here, get the military, try to tackle the situation. If the city doesn't do more, he worries more people will die. Non-stop, everyday robberies, killing. I mean, it's like a third world country. The victim's family members say they turned all of the surveillance footage over to homicide investigators. Oakland police say so far no one has been arrested in this case. They did not release any suspect information.